This is a quick video that will show you how to set up a hosting account with your own domain name, which is the first step to sharing your resume on your own site online. Setting up a website is kind of like owning a piece of land and you are staking out a claim on a property, so there is a small cost to owning your own site, but it is literally less than 20 cents a day and after the steps in this video, there is nothing else you need to buy or pay for to get your own site and resume posted online. So if you're ready, go ahead and click the link below this video on my site or type in the address that is at the bottom of the screen resumes that pop com slash just host opening the link will bring you to this page and to get started go ahead and click on the big sign up now button at the bottom that'll take you to this page where there are two steps we need to complete the first step is to enter your desired domain name this is the address of your site that people will use to find you for a resume site, I recommend you choose your name or a variation of your name, like your first initial plus your last name. Below that, Just Host allows you to enter a coupon code, which will save you some money on this step. To get the best deal, type 50 off into the coupon box below. At the time of this video, that offer was still available. Once you've got both of those, go ahead and click continue. If you get to this page, that means the domain that you wanted is already taken. Chances are there is someone else out there that shares your name that already registered that domain. All you need to do is come up with a different variation of your name like adding an initial. Down below this video is a list of alternatives you should try. I would keep trying until you find one that is available. After you've entered a domain that is available, you will be brought to this page. Here you will need to enter your billing information to pay for your hosting and domain name. Go ahead and enter that information and then scroll down. At the bottom of this page, you'll see some price options. Again, these are all the costs that are going to be associated with owning your own site. You can pick whichever one you feel comfortable with, but I recommend the 6 or 12 month plan because they give you the best deal. The 1 month plan has a $20 setup fee on your account, so I would avoid that one. I went ahead and chose a 6 month plan. So with that option, I got my domain name and six months of hosting for less than $35. I've opened accounts with other hosting services and Just Host is the best deal I've seen, which is why I recommend them in this tutorial. Once you've picked your option, go ahead and enter your credit card information above and then hit the complete button to continue. This part of the registration process is kind of a pain, but Just Host has a bunch of upgrades they want to try to offer you. For the next four pages, just scroll down to the bottom and hit no thanks. You don't need any of the upgrades for your personal web page. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through these. And then when you've gone through those, you'll get to this page. And congratulations, you now have your own domain and hosting. Let's do one more thing though before this video is over. Take a second and check your email for a new message from Just Host. It should look like this. There is some important information here and you'll want to save this email or print it out. Right now though, just look at the information that I've put a box around. You'll see a link to cPanel, a username, and a password. I would write down the, your username and password and then you can go ahead and click on the link to go to your hosting settings page. The link takes you to a login page where you can go ahead and enter the username and password you just wrote down or you can cut and paste from the email and then go ahead and hit login. Now you're logged into your cPanel page. That's the name for your settings page for your hosting account. Don't get overwhelmed right now though, we don't need to know what all these settings do. Right now just go ahead and scroll down. In the middle you will see a button under popular choices called WordPress. In the next video we're going to go ahead and click this which will set up WordPress on our resume webpage.